12 months, 12 yo-yos. I have been called crazy more than once so far this year and I'm only three months in. I think that means I'm doing something right. So the idea was to do short runs and release a different unique yo-yo each month this year. Partly just to see if I could do it. And partly because I've just had so many really cool ideas for different yo-yos. I want to make all sorts of different designs and just have some fun with it. So off to a great start. We started the year with the duck, which is not a surprise that that one sell, sold well. It was a community design with the Facebook BST group. And so everybody had a, had a say in the design of it. And this one was the production run after we did the prototypes last summer. Month two... Also not a surprise, it sold well. I did the Looney, which was a micro yo-yo that I priced probably too low. But that's how it goes sometimes. I suspect I could have charged higher, but I really just wanted everyone to have some fun with a little tiny yo-yo. Those sold well. I'm on to month three, the Retro Rocket. Now this one I've been working on for over a year with Daniel Kessler. And it's sold about as well as I expected. I decided to retail this one instead of selling direct, which bumps the price up 20 bucks or so because I've got to leave room for the retail markup. And $65 seems to be just past the point of an impulse buy. I'm not overly worried about it selling. They will move, it's a cool yo-yo and people are enjoying it, but that one's gonna move a little slower. I am looking forward to the March release, sorry, the April release, which is the Metalhead, which is a collab with Thomas Velto. This one, <laughs> the problem with the 12 months, 12 yo-yos plan is having enough lead time with the machine shop. So the yo-yos have been machined. I'm now waiting for the anodizers to see whether or not they screw up another batch of yo-yos because that happens because it's very much an art form, not a science. But we'll see. And I've got my fingers crossed those arrive in time. And at this point, I have planned a little further ahead and ordered the next three months worth of yo-yos um, and I'm not going to tell you what they all are but May is going to be something that's a repeat but not exactly a repeat June will be something that people have really really been waiting for no I lie that's July July is one people have really been waiting for June is going to be something weird and wacky in the opposite direction from the loony and then we'll have August, which should Justin, Scott Larson, and I ever actually connect to do the design, we're going to redo my signature yo-yo from my King Yo-Star days to release with my book on my guidebook to the modern yo-yo world. So I'm looking forward to that. And September, we've got another collaboration. It'll be my first 7075 yo-yo. And I haven't quite planned out October, November, December yet. Now, the fun part about this is by the end of the year, I'm going to have a backlog of a yo-yo that just about everybody's going to like something that I've made. And the challenge is, can I convince at least 50 people a month to buy a yo-yo? So we'll see how that goes. We'll see whether I have overestimated the size and bank accounts of my fan base and whether or not I can properly advertise, promote, and grow my fan base fast enough to keep up with production. So there it is. I'm at the SkyTrain and about to go hop on and head home. So you all have a good rest of your night and we'll talk to you soon.